Brewers regular season games 148 through 154. The Brewers will win 15 to 8. Game 2 versus the Diamondbacks. Tobias Myers with the win. Brandon Fott with the loss. William Contreras would start off the scoring on a sacrifice fly, making it 1 0. A Bryce Turing RBI single will make it 2 0. Jackson Cherry will make it 3 0 on an RBI single. Bases loaded walks at Garrett Mitchell will make it 4 0. Willie Adams will hit a grand slam, his 31st home run of the year, making it 8 0. William Contreras will hit an RBI double, making it 9 0. Garrett Mitchell will hit a two run home run, his 6th home run of the year, making it 11 0. Willie Adams will hit home run number two this game, 32nd home run of the year, making it 12 0. A Blake Burke and Sack Fly will make it 13 0. A Josh Bell two RBI single will make it 13 2. Randall Gritchick's 10th home run of the year, a two run home run, will make it 13 4. Randall Gritchick and Adrian Del Castillo will hit back to back RBI singles. Geraldo Perdomo will hit an RBI double, making it 13 8. And finally, William Contreras will hit home run number 22, a two run home run, making it 15 8. Final game of the series versus the Diamondbacks to lose an extra innings 11 to 10. Blake Walston with the win, Jared Koenig with the loss. The Diamondbacks will start the scoring on a Eugenio Suarez RBI single, making it 1 0. Josh Bell will make it 2 0 on an RBI single. Pavin Smith will hit a double, making it 5 0. Jackson Churio's 21st home run of the year, a three run home run, will make it 5 3. Eric Haas will tie up the game on a two run home run, his fifth home run of the year, tying it up at five. Willie Adams will hit a two RBI double, making it 7 5. Self Relic will hit an RBI single, making it 8 5. Geraldo Perdomo will hit an RBI single, making it 8 6. Brewers. Randall Gritchick will hit an RBI double, making it 8 7. Still Brewers. Then Johanio Suarez will tie up the game at 8 on a sacrifice fly. Jackson Shuri will hit a two RBI triple, making it 10 8. Adrian Del Castillo will hit an RBI single, making it 10 9. Here in extra innings, Christian Walker would be hit by a pitch. And then Eugenio Suarez would hit a walk-off single past Sal Freelich to end out the game. Game 1 versus the Phillies, the Brewers win 6-2. Aaron Savale with the win, Ranger Suarez with the loss, and Colin Ray with his first career save. William Contreras started off in a 2 RBI double, making it 2-0. Joey Ortiz's sack fly would make it 3-0. Brandon Marshall hit a solo home run, his 16th home run of the year, making it 3-1. Joey Ortiz will hit an RBI triple, making it 4-1. Bryce Ring will hit an RBI single, making it 5-1. Kyle Schwarber will hit an RBI single, making it 5-2. Gary Sanchez will hit a sack fly, making it 6-2. Game 2 versus the Phillies. The Phillies will win 5-1. Zach Wheeler with the win. Frankie Montas with the loss. Nick Castellanos will start off the scoring with a solo home run, his 21st of the year, making it 1-0. Garrett Mitchell will hit a triple, his 3rd of the year, tying it up at 1. Bryce Harper will hit home run number 29, a two-run home run, making it 3-1. Kyle Schwarber will hit an RBI single, making it 4-1. Trey Turner will hit an RBI single, ending off the scoring, making it 5-1. Game 3 versus the Phillies, the Brewers will win 2-1. Devin Williams with the win, of all pitchers for the Brewers. And then Carlos Estevez with the loss. Alec Bohm will hit home run number 14, a solo home run, making it 1-0. Reese Hoskins' is 25th home run of the year would tie it up at 1. And Jake Bowers would walk it off, making it 2-1 to one on an RBI single. Hey, guess what? The Brewers are playing the Diamondbacks again just at home. The Diamondbacks will beat the Brewers 5-1. to one. Brandon fought with the win. Tobias Myers with the loss. Corbin Carroll would start off the scoring on a sacrifice fielder's choice, making it one nothing. Cattell Marte would hit an RBI single, making it 2 nothing. Christian Walker would hit a sack fly, making it 3 nothing. Garrett Mitchell, 7th home run of the year, a solo home run, would make it 3-1. to one. Still Diamondbacks. And then Pavin Smith will hit a two-run home run, making it 5-1. to one. Then the final game for this video, the Diamondbacks will win 7-4 in Game 2 versus the Brewers. Zach Gallen with the win, D.L. Hall with the loss, and A.J. Puck with the save. Cattell Marte would start off the scoring on a solo home run, his 33rd home run of the year. Geraldo Perdomo hit an RBI single, making it 2-0. Corbin Carroll hit a sack fly, making it 3-0. Cattell Marte will hit an RBI double, making it 4-0. Joey Ortiz will hit his 11th home run of the year, a solo home run, making it 4-1. William Contreras will hit home run number 23, a two-run home run, making it 4-3. Garrett Mitchell's 8th home run of the year would be a solo home run, tying it up at 4. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. would take the lead on a solo home run, his 18th of the year. Corbin Carroll with an RBI ground out, making it 6-4. Randall Gritchick, bases loaded walk, would end out the week, making it 7-4.
All right, so the Brewers' record on the year is now 88-66, and 66, just about 15 games left in the season. And the Brewers' respective Brewers' Player of the Week goes to Garrett Mitchell because he's healthy and he's finally hitting home runs like we all wanted.